What's going on YouTube? This is H142 and this is part two of my cryptic video paint job. I went ahead and completed putting all the stencils on as you can see. You look a little freakish. Right now I got the gold color and the green. I know, I know, I know. But uh, for the most part I'm pretty much done. It was a little pain in the rear to put all these things on. And like I said, this is going to be my first attempt at doing this. You can see the whole rifle is uh, pretty much stenciled out, pretty tight. I mean, for the most part, these little things stick on pretty good. Okay, so bear with me. Uh, right there, as you can see, you can just put that in. It'll stick where it needs to go, and same goes here. All right, uh, I did my suppressor. Yeah, as you can see. Right. So put it on different patterns, my ACOG. And of course my stock. So, and last but not least, the NCR rail. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a different color tone to start giving it a cryptic look. And um, as soon as I'm done, you know, because I can't, fortunately, paint and record at the same time. But uh, I'll give it a shot. If I fuck up, I fuck up. And back to the drawing board. Other than that, bear with me, guys. Alright? Fucking okay, mosquitoes. Okay, we're gonna start out with the light coat. Right now, I got khaki. Alright? Didn't wanna get any sand. Let me go ahead and take all this stuff out of the way. That way, I don't paint stuff that I don't really wanna paint right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh, the body. Now, there's a little contraction I have around here. That'll make mine off a lot easier. This little thing here, it is badass. It works as here. Let me put this. Looks on. You want to go ahead and uh, line it up pretty good with the nozzle. All right, here we go. It makes honestly the spraying of the actual rifle a lot easier. Okay. And notice I only did a little light coat here and there. Because I don't want to give it a whole entire... Now mind you, this is just one color I'm putting on right now. At the same time, I can go ahead and... Get that out of the way with the suppressor. Now, I'm not putting a heavy coat right now because I still got another color to add, so. And it'll cut off the definition pretty good, good once I put the brown and whatnot over it. Little sprays here, little spray there. And like I said, bear with me, guys, because I'm just fucking with this for the first time. It might come out cockibities, or it might come out good. Who knows? All we can do is pray to the airsoft gods and hope and pray it comes out okay, you know? Now, some people are like, oh, dude, you're doing it too close. Well, whatever works for you guys. I like to stand some, you know, take my time and play with it for a bit. Now, the veil. Yes? Good. Move this out of the way. We'll hit that up again in a minute. There 
are ready. Let's see here. Now I'm gonna give it a second and let it dry a bit. Because normally this paint dries up pretty quick. And I'm gonna switch colors now. As you can see, right that bad girl there. Keep on getting stuck here. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Make sure it's aligned properly. Yeah, that'll be the last thing I need is to spray yourself. Oh. Uh -huh. That looks about right. Now, depending on the color you want to go with, you know, depending on the tone you want to give it, I'm using this as a black to give it a little more crisp, and then I'll probably go over the sand again. It all depends. I'm hoping that this little method I'm doing, that just going crazy and spraying a little here and there, will give it a nice little 3D. I don't even know if I'm getting this right here. A little 3D look that I want, you know what I mean? So, the end of the day, man, just play with it. Only thing is these stencils. Once you put them on, that's it. Okay, it is what it is. You have to go through that motions all over again, and you know. Like the instructions said, you need patience for this damn thing, but thank God for quick drying paint. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky, so um, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out here. Okay. Excuse for the wild moving of the camera. Like I said, I'm doing this one-handed right now. And I'm going to switch it up back to the sand now. Give it some highlight. Let the bitch dry. We'll see how she comes out in a few. Alright? Enjoy.